Wait, Onodera is innocent. Oh, so you must be the author of A Legend of Sword. I didn't expect to see others tagging along with you. Oh, that guy from before uh, that yeah, Mika look angry on him. Anyway, you mustn't take him away. I can explain everything. No need to worry, Zhenyu. I've just explained everything to Madame Kujo, and Kuroda has testified for me. Yes. In fact, we were just getting ready to leave. Oh, phew. What a relief. Hmm. Wait a minute. Does everyone else here already know? <laughs> <clears throat> well, to be precise, we had dispatched two additional squads here. In order to prevent the suspect from escaping. Uh... Shinjo looks pretty flustered. What exactly is going on here? Uh, ahem. Though it's most embarrassing, it appears quite a few people are aware of the situation now. There's no use keeping it a secret. In the end, I'm the one responsible for this whole predicament. No, Jen Yu. It's only appropriate that I take responsibility for this. Everyone, please let me explain. For the Iridori Festival, I recommended the idea of selling newly released novels signed by the authors. Not only was this the first major project I was in charge of since joining the Yai Publishing House, but Lady Yai also gave me a lot of support. However, I did not discuss our plans with the authors in advance. As a result, it caused a great deal of trouble for Jen Yu. Yes, to be frank, calligraphy is not my strong point, so signing events are really not my forte. Even though such an event will be difficult for Jen Yu, after telling him how important the plans were to me, he immediately boarded a ship to Inazuma to come up with a solution. So these past few days, Jen Yu has been actively practicing his handwriting. However, it takes time to sign each book, and we realized the time we reserved for the signing was not nearly enough. So I came up with the idea of moving the new books from the warehouse to my place. That way, Jen Yu could use these few days to sign them all. So you actually plan this to tell them a lie that there was solid and... Okay, this is kind of stupid. I thought everything would work out without a hitch. I never expected that someone would immediately realize that the books were missing from the warehouse. To make things worse, I was on vacation and staying with Jen Yu in my house these past few days. I had no idea that the situation had turned into such a huge mess. Okay, but how do you explain... Uh, who, that, what's his name? Chan Yu. How he came to Inazuma? The same way... Don't tell me the same way as Venti. That's gonna be already too stupid. <sighs> All of this happened because I wanted to prove myself through this event. Onodera. I agreed to your proposal because I didn't want the readers to know of my unsightly handwriting. Also, I knew that Onodera had been misled by one of my prior signatures. At a previous event, the Yai Publishing House had requested autographs of authors so that they could be put on display. I practiced tirelessly for an entire day to finally deliver a stylish and elegant signature for the event. But looking back on it now, I had dug myself into a hole by delivering that nice signature for the sake of my pride. Hey, come on you two, loosen up a little. The theft was nothing more than a simple misunderstanding. Besides, everyone has something they do not wish others to see. Yeah, that's right! All that matters is that Shinjo and his books are okay. Onodera, I think you should explain the truth regarding the stolen books to the rest of the people on Rito. Yes, I understand. I'll apologize to everyone. We should probably be heading back to Rito as well. Let's tag along. Well, this was something. Kinda stupid. And this is kinda the thing with this extra story. You cannot have, say, a villain or someone like that because they even has to be an NPC with you know, you use the assets that they have. At the most time, the evil NPC only have like an evil mustache or evil voice. That's it. And yeah, I guess we're done with this story. Oh, 
Onodera? What are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be on leave these few days? I'm very sorry for all the trouble that I've caused. Yes, Onodera, but... Why didn't you tell everyone earlier? If you had told us, we could have thought of some ways to help you. That's right. We're a team, and we should be helping each other in tough situations like this. Let's leave the past behind us now. Our first priority is to help Gen Yu with his signatures. How is your progress so far? My progress is not what I had hoped for. Even after working through the night these past few days, I've only finished perhaps one-tenth of the signatures. Why don't you use a stamp or something like that? Oh, no wonder Shincho looked so sleepy today. I understand. Murata, go back to the Ai Publishing House and get Aratani to book a room on the second floor of the Uyu restaurant. We'll be using it for Gen Yi's emergency calligraphy lessons. Yes, Mr. Hirayama. It just so happens that my brother is a calligrapher. Should I ask him to lend his assistance as well? Yes, good idea. Ah, you've just reminded me. Two calligraphers from Liyue arrived today. We worked with them before, so I'll go and ask them to help out too. It seems I'm really in for it now. No need to worry, Zhenyu. I'm sure you can do it. Didn't you finish the last chapter of your novel in just one week's time? Yes, but writing novels and learning calligraphy are two entirely different skills. Even though Sincho still has to deal with his handwriting issue, Paimon somehow feels a little relieved now. I always used to prefer working alone in my workshop, but I've come to realize that solving problems with others also has its merits. We also owe a special ode of gratitude to the mysterious person who has been leaving important info for us along the way. Huh? You mean whoever left behind those stories about the five Kassen? Pardon me, but what are you talking about? Oh, right. We haven't had a chance to explain things to Shinkyo yet. I see. It appears that Onodera and I were spotted when we were moving the books. Albedo, may I ask you one thing? Are you able to include me in a portrait as well? Not only do I owe the successful resolution of today's incident to that story, but I also hope that I'll remember this lesson. No problem. Considering the similarities between the portraits and the events that have taken place, your proposal is very reasonable. That figure was none other than Aoi no Okina himself. This turn of events had begun with an unnamed individual, under whose coercion Aoi no Okina was forced to take drastic measures to retrieve a page of poetry. He knew nothing of this individual's true intentions. All he knew was that the poem had to do with an old acquaintance, Akahito. Albedo really is something. He finished the portrait of Aoi no Okina in no time at all. Yep, a new icon. And I bet you that the hair is Yaim... Yaimiko? Yeah, Yaimiko. And Sessa or herself, actually. No, I think this is even older that she is. Although, uh, Nabi survived is that her mother or ancestor. Wonder how Shincho's calligraphy training is going at Uyu Restaurant. Hey, do you think whoever left those stories for us could be hiding somewhere nearby? Oh, hello, Mr. Story Writer. Are you here? Uh, could you please help Shincho with something? Friend of ours, and the release of his new book is super important to him. Oh, what's that sound? A cat? <laughs> it was just a cat. 
Looks like we can't make them reveal themselves that easily. It's getting late now. But let's go back and get some rest. We still have to go to the docks and wait for another ship tomorrow morning. Hello, Fit. Okay, this is an MPG. I thought it was even... Uh, wait. I want to say one of the ninjas from Ayato team or... Hmm... No idea. Uh, 